What's going on, Aquarius? Welcome to your love reading, where we're going to dive deep into the energy surrounding your love life right now. Whether you're navigating challenges or you're looking for clarity, this reading is going to have important messages about all of your relationships. So let's take a look at what's coming through for you today. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, better known as Aubrey, when I'm doing these more personal collective towers, tarot zodiac readings online, child. Um, this is going to be for my aquas out there, my aquas, my Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, okay? Keep in mind, this is a collective reading, okay? I love collective reading. So if you would like to know more personally what's going on with you, your person, no contact, soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call her, definitely make sure that you go to my website, thealignedsouls.com, which is on screen as well as in the description box below. So go ahead and book you a personal reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it, aquas. So the overall theme that we have is a three Three of Pentacles reversed. Why, Aqua? Why? Because this is telling me that you might be feeling a lack of collaboration or a lack of support in your love life. So there could be issues right now around teamwork or a sense that you're not necessarily fully on the same page with a partner. Or maybe you're perhaps experiencing difficulty working towards common goals. Now, this could also point to a need for open communication and mutual effort, suggesting that maybe there's something in your love life that requires reevaluation, especially if you're putting in all the effort, but not necessarily receiving that same effort in return. The focus here is to ensure that your relationships are balanced and that both partners, both people, okay, are actively participating. And something tells me both aren't right now, okay? Not a current situation. We have the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups typically speaks to an emotional opening, a fresh start, a, a new potential love interest, right? This is curiosity. This is emotional exploration. Perhaps you're opening yourself up to love again, you know, maybe putting yourself out there on the dating scene, you know, getting to know people. Or if you're already in a relationship, this could indicate a time to reconnect with emotional vulnerability or, you know, get to a place where you start expressing your feelings openly. Aquarius, this is all about embracing the possibility of new emotional experiences and trusting your heart as you navigate this phase. Now, the challenge that we have here is the Six of Swords, which I don't really, really like because you might be having a hard time moving on from past emotional baggage or leaving a difficult situation behind. And the Six of Swords is all about transition and transformation and healing. But in the challenge position, it's pointing to resistance okay aqua you you may be finding it hard to let go of the past i mean you are a fixed sign people like to call taurus stubborn but baby so is aquas taurus scorpio aquas and leos all, listen all of us are stubborn baby all of us are stubborn aqua you you are very very stubborn right and so you might be holding on to your past even though you know that healing and moving forward are necessary you could still be holding on to shit that is no longer serving you and so if you're struggling to find peace within yourself or within relationship, then you need to know that moving forward is going to be essential to your growth and love. That's just the only way. Okay. So what, where we want to take the focus is put it on the queen of wands. And this is about embracing your inner confidence, your inner passion, your inner charisma, right? Because the queen is bold. She's creative. She's confident in her own energy. She knows what she wants and she don't really back down from pursuing it. Aquarius, this is your call to step into your own power and be unapologetic yourself when it comes to love. The Queen of Wands suggests that when you fully embody your passions and your true self, that's when you're going to attract the right kind of energy in your relationships. So don't hold back. Stand tall. Be confident. Take charge of your romantic destiny. But don't feel like you have to conform in order to get what it is that you want or that you desire. Okay? Now, the advice message that we have here is the Eight of Swords, right? We have that as your protection message because it's a general reminder that you might be limiting yourself with negative thought patterns or feeling trapped by your own fears or beliefs about love, right? This is about feeling stuck, but it's important to note that you do have the power to free yourself, right? Any current limitations are more mental than physical. And by changing your mindset and recognizing your own power, you can break free from whatever is holding you back, Aquarius. So avoid overthinking, avoid self-doubt. 
take the small steps that you need to free your mind and free your heart. Now, as always, we do have a hidden message here, and that hidden message is the Knight of Pentacles. So you're going to want to be reminded to stay steady, to stay patient, to stay diligent in this approach to love, because the Knight doesn't rush. He takes his time, right? He, he's very thoughtful, and he usually comes with practical decisions. So when it comes to relationship, this is about steady progress being the key to long-term success. Even if things start feeling like it's slowing down or it's uncertain, the night assures you that solid foundations are being built. Like Rome was not built in a motherfucking day. Okay. So whether you're in a relationship or you're dating, the Knight of Pentacles is encouraging you to take your time, be reliable, trust that consistent effort will lead to meaningful results and love. So just to bring it all together for you, Aquarius, there's a need for emotional openness and healing right now in your love life. You might be feeling disconnected or you might be feeling unsupported within a relationship, but it's time for you to embrace new emotional experiences while also leaving behind any past baggage or difficulties that ain't serving you, right? Because you got to step into your confidence. You got to step into your bold self and not let your mind limit the potential that you have when it comes to love. But also overall understanding that love is going to take time. It's going to, it's going to take time. So you're going to have to have patience, but you're also going to have to know that steady progress is what's going to be the key to success. You know, the, the toys wins the race, baby. Okay. So embrace this period of growth, Aquarius, that foundation that you built now will serve you well in the future. All right. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Definitely make sure you go to my website, thealigningsouls.com, which is on screen, as well as in the description box below to book you a personal reading. Get on your shit before shit gets on you, baby. Okay. I'm just simply here to help put the you back into the universe. Oh, there we go. That's my old, that's what I used to say in all my old videos. Put you back into the universe. I know that's right. Um, I'm just here to help align you to your highest God, your highest soul, all of that. All right. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.